60% off for the events you want to see. Basketball, baseball, hockey, concerts, and more. Here's how they do it. 40% of all tickets go unsold. Score Big works directly with teams and performers to get the best deals on those tickets and pass the savings along to you. Next time you want to buy tickets, go to scorebig.com first. Your tickets are guaranteed to be authentic, shipping is free, and you'll never get the surprise fees you see on the other ticketing sites. If you go to scorebig.com right now, click on the microphone and enter promo code 400, you'll save an extra $20 off your first ticket purchase. That's scorebig.com, promo code 400. Scorebig.com, promo code 400. All right, here's the Twitter update. This just in, thou shalt be brief. Much has been made about the possibility of Twitter going to either un- unlimited characters or one. Which one do you want? Unlimited characters, but not so. CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, confirmed over the weekend that thou shalt be brief. Just 140 characters in perpetuity. So no change with Twitter and their characters. For now. For the complete cheat sheet, you can get it at WJNO.com. Hashtag cheat sheet. 1230 WBZT. The thoughts and opinions expressed are those of the sponsors and don't necessarily reflect those of this station or iHeartMedia. Lunchtime! So, how's your morning going up till now? It's noontime, and two boys from Brooklyn want to serve you a huge portion of humor for lunch. So break out the lunch pail, or the sandwich you packed, and let Les and Freddie S. bring you jokes and nostalgia mixed in with important information about medicine, food, dating, or just the stuff you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. And if you have a story about anything you want to share, a bad date, a movie review, or just the strangest thing that happened to you at work, call in and join the fun toll-free at 1-800-889-0267. Right now, sit back and let's start the lunch break. Freddie S. and Les are ready, so here are the boys. Sounds oh, like Freaky Friday to oh, me. Oh, are we going? Are we going to beyond the universe? I think, Freddie, we have, we've been out of the universe <laughs> for quite a while. We're not in it. Well, so I got to tell you Hollywood what's appropriate theme. about that music is we're going to try something today we are. that we, we haven't tried before. Run a radio show. <laughs> have a radio show every that's day. A good, that's a good point. No, we're going <laughs> to try to have a well-known boxer. Yes. On the show. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, and he's kind of cute too. I was looking yeah, at the Danny, picture. Yeah, Danny. Well, because Danny cute. Garcia is so freaking good, he doesn't get hit. Mm-hmm. Well, Danny Garcia is hopefully going to be on the air. I hope so. Be nice he's promoting. To... Forget this. Go he's ahead. a great boxer. Right. He's a dual champion the whole night, and he'll probably beat you up. He could probably and beat he's you hot. Up That's all I care about. Yeah, he's kind of hot. Apparently, his temperature is <laughs> rising. Right. And but the bottom line here is he's going to promote his two twin sisters. Oh, oh wow. very nice. Boxing? Thing? No, no, no. Uh-huh. Music. So I was going to talk to you ah. today about, remember when we were growing up, how boxing with Ali ah. and Frazier and all those guys was a big deal? Oh, yeah. And I'm talking about before what's going on now and how music interacts. Well, these two guys are going to crash these worlds together. So oh, I think it's great. Hopefully he's going to call. Well, if you remember, uh, I'm a little older than you. I remember Rocky Marciano, uh, Joe Lewis. Those that, were, that's a whole lot older. Yeah, well, as a Charles, I mean, I Did think. they have planes in those days? Yeah, but I'll tell you, Freddie, I used to go out there. I had a job then when I was out there. I was the guy that pushed the plane out and hit the propeller. You were the last, that was the last job you had? Yeah, I was, I was involved with uh, that guy, Howard Hughes. I pushed out the pl- How you laughing at you know I'm how old as dirt. You know, you know Howard Hughes? He, are you the guy he gave the money to in the desert? No, that was Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I played See, the avian. Okay, so talk to me about this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to set this up. Okay, great. And i got to watch my phone because he may end up calling me on my phone as okay. opposed to... Uh, so in case you're listening, sisters and brother, 800-889-0267. That's 800-889-0267. And for, and for all the people that are out of this country, the number is 800... It. Be quiet. Eight hundred eight eight nine zero two six seven. All right. So okay. let's say let's say good morning. Go ahead. We got a sickly board up behind the glass. Oh, today. I saw her face and I was like, oh no, not you, Connecticut. I say the same thing when I see her face, even when she's healthy. That's and, nice. oh. <laughs> and, Thanks a lot. That's okay. Thanks and for the sour persimmons. So let me ask you a question. The question everybody keeps asking me is, you're sick. Uh huh. Your fifteen personalities are they all sick too? Yeah. They wow. are. So all sixteen oh. of you are sick today. 
all of us, yes. There's not one healthy person in that body? No, honey. Not not me, not her, nobody. Now I want to ask you a question before Freddie introduces everybody. When you can't breathe through your nose, uh -huh. how bad is sex? I don't I don't know. I haven't had it in a while, so there you have so it. So let's see if we can prove it today. You're not getting any? Oh, Connecticut. But what does breathing through your nose have to do with sex? Well, if you don't know that you're in really a lot of trouble. No, seriously, trouble. why do you have to? You could, you could breathe through your mouth and have sex. How would you know? Listen, oh, I like do, you, your do, yourself, do yourself today. a favor and don't do yourself a favor because he, he's just going to he's just going. I was away that, for one day, and let me tell you something. He's going to drive that point home. So I had to listen to another radio point. station. That's how sad I, it was. I, I, I got to be here all the time now. I, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Well, introduce the, all right. the wonderful sponsors. cast. So anyway, okay. let's know. We have, uh, we have Double D. Oh, hold it. Let me explain that. Let me explain why it's double D. Again? You missed it. No, we did no, that yesterday. I never explained it. It's daisies from Dominican. No, yes. right? Dominican daisy. Dominican daisy. But I can't say yeah, why I call you double D, right? Yeah, daisy margarita. Daisy Same. margarita, yes. What you missed out was her fan club. Cool. Really? And they yeah. said, why do we change her name? I know. They that. remember me by day. Yeah, look what um, you've done to my life. Sazzy calls you that, too, up in, <laughs> the, up in uh, Georgia. How's Double D doing, guys? That's right. I she says, so. tell, tell Double it D I say right hi. Away. It clicks right away. I, I understand. But, you know, there's some people that know me, but they see Sedeno, which is fine, too. Like so I'm here. It's Friday. Friday, so it's Freaky Friday. So it's that's the only day I could call you well, double. Well, yesterday she changed Thursday to almost Friday, and what is say almost Saturday? No, 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 because Friday is a big day. You know, everybody knows that. Everybody's waiting for that Friday to just have fun, do Why? something on the weekend. Because uh, what are that's you doing freedom. this weekend? Because thank God it's Friday. Yeah, it's, Easter. it's Easter. well, we're supposed to eat out, go out. You going out tonight? I'm going out tonight. Yes. Well, we're going to talk about what happened last night with the rain. I got a story oh, for you. I know. God. That was crazy. You called me up. I called you. I, I gave my last <laughs> will and testament last I've night. got a bone to pick with you, weather girl. How come you didn't tell us yesterday we were going to have hail and tornadoes coming at us? I said something on the... <laughs> yes, I said, said that. I yes. said on the I heard it. 1230. Yeah, but you didn't but say... I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. You didn't say it was an earthquake. Well, you didn't yeah. say hail and tornadoes. Well, he me up. Like a round... But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell that story, because that uh, was funny. We'll tell that story. Listen, okay. we want to thank our sponsors, M2.TV, 866 2245422. Let us uh, start your future. You got uh, health and wealth seminars. 954-303-9563. And what happens when you don't advertise? Nothing. And we have the pain whisperer. Dr. Anthony Pinozo at 561-381-5800. And we, have, we, we do have a new sponsor, which we'll talk about to, uh, Monday. Actually, we have a couple of people we have to talk about. Yeah, we got to talk about a couple of our new sponsors. Um, but, uh, but yes. So yesterday, mm -hmm. I did a show down at another radio station. Oh, how could you? And I was a producer on the show, and we left. I waited an hour till 7 o'clock. Right. Right? And I get on the road, and there are cars. I mean, the flooding, was, the rain was so ridiculous. I thought I was in a, hur in a, in a tornado. I thought it was <laughs> it a tornado. It was a tornado in Florida. I must have been in it. So the car, uh, the car on the, uh, I'm trying to do two things at one time here. Bear with me. So the cars on the other side of Dixie Highway, they were driving the wrong way. But that's yeah, normal. They were floating in the wrong direction with oncoming traffic. Yeah, you guys got hit bad. That was bad. So yeah. I'm tooting the horn and I'm screaming. <laughs> and it was a senior guy. It was a senior guy. Uh, the I said, follow me. And they're following me. I had a whole trail of people. <laughs> but the water was so thick that I lost the car. Two kids jumped out. They had to push the car. No, oh I God. felt horrible. So I said, it "You know what? Yesterday. Let me call somebody <laughs> to get my last will and testament because I'm going oh, to the no. ocean." You didn't call him. I call him. <laughs> Why? That's your first mistake. <laughs> I, I was singing my underwear, having only, a drink. He's the only one to answer <laughs> so the phone. Les, Les would have told Listen, you. Right? Didn't answer the phone. <laughs> she doesn't answer the phone. Nobody answered the phone. Linda was, Excuse at the me. I was on the air. Danny Garcia's on the air. Okay, give me a second. So we did. So we did this thing where I'm calling all over the place, right? So I run out of gas. So I have to go to Costco. I go to Costco. It's empty. It went black. It was blacked out. The power went out. And then it came back. Hold it's on, Danny. Right, it's right next to a <laughs> big power station. And you see the electricity flying out of the It was yeah, crazy I yesterday. Saw so I told, the, I told the guy, I told the guy, I gotta get out of here. We're gonna blow up. And exactly. the guy is hiding in the wall. He says, I can't leave. Why? I'm, because he can't. He has to work there. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, yesterday was Horrible. It was okay, insane. now we got somebody that to me. ADD boy, you gotta set it up. Okay, Take set it up. Go ahead. All right. We got Danny on the phone. He's a tornado, but in the boxing. Yes. Yes. Don't yep. don't it's lose this one. A hurricane. Are you, are, you, yeah. are you? Are we ready? Danny, are you yeah, on the I'm air? Here. Hey, Danny. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going Woo! on? 
This is a real pleasure for me to, to, to actually listen to you. I've watched you fight, and let me tell you, hey, it's a Danny, real pleasure. Danny, can you beat up Les? Oh, my God. I think, I'd be afraid if you walked in this room. I think I, think I could beat up anybody. Oh, right. that's oh, my guy. All right. That's right. I, saw, I saw your last fight. You looked like you could beat up the oh, world. Oh, yeah. Man. And we think you're pretty hot, Danny, so we wish you were here. So, Danny, oh, talk to us about what's going on in your life and what we can do naturally to always help somebody. I don't think you need it's, any help. It, it, your twin sisters, right, Danny? Yeah, they're right here with me. Um, Danny and Julie. Uh huh. Hello. Hi, hey, hey, ladies. How are you? We're gonna. Good. Yeah, how are you? Good. We're gonna be playing your song when we uh, when we finish the interview. Oh wow! Um, um, tell us a little bit, Danny, about. I, they tell me that you do a lot of other businesses. So you are the the, the man, and, and your producer yes, Victoria is not here. I don't know where she is, but <laughs> tell entrepreneur. Us, Yes, entrepreneur. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you're, what's going on in your life right now. Uh, right now, you know, well, the, the, main, the number one thing in my career is, you know, boxing, of course. You know, that's the, my main focus. I'm a boxing champion, so my main focus is boxing. But other than boxing, you know, I got a couple things going on. I got a uh, barbershop back in Philly, has the DSG boxing gym. Nice. Uh, my father owns a uh, mechanic, a small detail shop. Ooh, we have wow. a few properties. We have a few uh, properties out there, you know, rental properties and like that so we're just trying to um expand our um you know our real estate portfolio and just trying to do things outside of boxing we had the um have the music label that my sisters are on there um dsg music and we're just trying to build their career you know i'm just trying to help everybody around me you're a good man that's great good man that's fantastic and you were born and raised in philadelphia yeah, I was born and raised in Philadelphia, and my parents are okay. from Puerto Rico. Philly, right. Yep. What, part know, of Puerto, not... what part of Puerto Rico? Uh, my mom's from um, Ponce, and my dad's from Naguabo. 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 I'm in Umacao, and my uncle, Fufi Santori, Fufi. who's got to be his... Yeah, he, he <laughs> actually did name. the basketball, Olympic basketball team. His team, Puerto Rico, be, is the one to beat the U.S., but wow. he told me about you. He says I remember that. Friend. I remember that game, too, man. Yeah. Um, Carlos Arroyo, and uh, that was a good game. Yeah. How could you not know about Danny Garcia? No, no, no. He's one of the greatest <laughs> fighters that ever I didn't say I didn't know about Danny. He's what I said strong. Was, he's you, fast. Do you know about Danny? Oh, I know. And you yes, know, it's know so Danny nice Garcia, that he's I, taking I, care of his family. Excuse me. Wait, yes. I was in the middle of a sentence. Here's a way. Sorry. You know, at the end of a sentence, there's a period. Wait until I stop. <laughs> yes, I've watched. <laughs> oh, Problem is, he never stops. <laughs> You okay. don't even know who Danny okay. Garcia okay. is. Can, can we talk about Danny's sister? Yes, I want you to talk about We're boxing in here, Danny. We're boxing verbally. You, can, you yeah. guys can go find I, the battle. Danny, tell us a little bit about what's going on with your fight. sisters. Uh, what happened there? Danny, you there? I, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Tell us what happened, yeah, is happening with your sisters in their career. What, what is it that we're... Because I saw the video. They were really good. Yeah, they're, um, they're actually... Huh? Um, a single group. They they began uh, singing and rapping at the age of five years old, and uh, they've just been pursuing their dream ever since then. Right now, they um, they got their new single, Cali Swag, which is you guys heard. Mm-hmm. Right, that's what we're gonna be playing. Good. Yeah, their social media pages are blowing up. You know, they I think they have about fifty five thousand followers on Instagram. Wow. They have uh, they have three hundred some thousand on Musically. Wow. And they're they're gaining a big fan base right now. So right now they're at the time of their career where they they're about to take off. When can we have them on the show and they can sing here? Come on the show and meet us, and we'll put it on the internet. We'll put it all over for you. Oh uh, man, I'm ready when you guys are. I'm, you, oh, you just man. say the word. You tell us, champ. You tell us when, and you. we'll set it right up. No problem. Cool. So yeah, for sure, I'll definitely give you guys a good time to come up there. Okay. Perfect. And, are they are they singing? They're in Miami. They're on vacation this this week, right? Yeah, we're um, we're actually all in uh, Miami right now. We're um, we're actually thinking about making this our residence, so. Oh. Um. Yeah. Hey, so it's beautiful out here. It, it is. Listen, if you need a house in Boca, I got one. For yeah, you. Uh, I got a nice place for you, Danny. I'll yeah, tell you how much beautiful I'll ta- neighborhood. <laughs> I'll take exactly how oh, it's much a great you're neighborhood. You so love this mess around with you, Danny. Yeah, I'll but tell this you. is Danny, brother. I mean, this is a champion of the world. You can buy you your whole about? block. <laughs> you could probably buy every house in there. But I just think it's really nice that he's taking the time to help support his family and build businesses so that everybody in his family is successful, not just himself. A lot of celebrities don't do that and don't take that extra step. I think that's great. Danny, yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, you're on YouTube too. I mean, your sisters are in YouTube, so with that way, people yeah. they want to find you in YouTube. You know, that's crazy. Yeah, they're, these um, videos. Uh-huh. Yeah, their YouTube channel is um, is that Siani Angelis, Siani Angelis. So all they have to do is just look up Siani Twins. 
Yeah, and then the other videos will pop oh, okay. up. Okay, okay. Cyan G Twins. Yeah, you've got it already. Yeah, Cyan G Twins. S I A N G I E and then Twins. Are you are you their manager or is there a rep or manager that somebody would contact if they wanted to book them? Um, I, I'm 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 basically everything for them. You know, I'm their manager, everything. So if anybody wants to go through them, they got they got to go through me. That's right. Everybody got to go through him. I'm going to tell you something. You don't yeah. want to mess with this guy. No. <laughs> are, are, they, you know, are, the, are the ladies going to be singing in concert or anything, Danny? Have you put anything together for them in the future? Um, right now, they're doing a lot of meet and greet. So they're trying to, you know, touch and base with their fans and things like that. Just uh, getting their fans to know them and give them a reason to follow them and keep following them. So right now, they do a lot of meet and greets. But we're about to start setting up shows and things like that now. We just want to be sure when we did it was just the right time. Well, you got a home here, that's for well, sure. Why yep. don't we ask them if they want to walk with us for Parkinson's? What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. We're doing a Parkinson's walk um, in, uh, when is it, April 17th? 17th, yeah. April 17th, the two boys from Brooklyn and the Broads. And possibly, we're still waiting to hear, right, about Ali's daughter. Yes. Uh, is going to be on our team, and we're going to do a walk for Parkinson's at Town Center Mall. There's yeah. going to be a lot of press okay. there. Yeah. We're, we're, okay. We're trying cool. to get some celebrities and stuff involved. But anytime you want to bring the, your sisters on, and I'd, I'd love you to come on. I, I really would like to meet you in person. I think you just name the date, time. We'll have you on the show, and yeah. you know, dedicated to the girls and you. All right, thank you. I really appreciate that. No, we appreciate you. And hey, listen, let's talk to the girls. Yeah, yeah. let's let the girls come on. Let's, let's talk, talk to the talk girls to for a second. Are they there? Hey, we're yeah. here. Hey, Hi. ladies, how you doing? Hey, they talk at the same time. I love it. They talk every day, say everything. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we just said the same thing. That's very funny. Same. So, uh, so if we ask you, you a question, you answer at the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, how old are you guys? How old? We're fourteen years old. 14. Oh, that is fantastic! And I love beautiful. it. Did they say fourteen? Fourteen. They had a 14. voice like that at fourteen. Beautiful voices, yeah. 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 So, tell us a little Thank bit you about your music. What is it? Where are you going to go with your music? Inspirational. Uh, uh, we're gonna go to the top top. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Gee, kind of, like brother, like sisters, yeah. right? right what is the rhythm? Because I feel a little bit of uh, rock there. What is going? What is going on? Oh, uh, I think we're going for like the R and B. R and B. Okay. Can you do a jingle on the fly, or is that too much to ask? Uh, they're still uh, too young. <laughs> That's okay, they're cute. There's Big Brother watching over. Well, That's you know what, Big Daddy? You never have to worry about those girls when they tell you who their brother is. That's right. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no messing with the twins. No messing with those exactly. twins. Exactly. And are, are they Siamese? Is this called Siamese twins? No, Siamese are linked no. together by something. Like that. Okay. They're identical twins, identical right? Twins. We're, yeah. yeah, we're identical twins. So my dad's an identical twin. And to this day, my kids still call my uncle my dad, grandpa. So you're going to go through a lot of that as kids. People will uh, never be able to tell you apart. And you can play all sorts of tricks on boyfriends and teachers and everything else that I'm sure you're doing. They, they change their hair color. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, do you still have the same hair color? The same color? Same color hair? Oh, yeah, same color hair. Oh, they confuse everybody. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I'm sure you're playing tricks on people right now that nobody knows but you guys, right? Yeah, I <laughs> what is, the, what is you know, your major influence as an artist? Do you have somebody that you really like? Um, somebody that I really like up to is probably in music industry, is probably Beyonce. Oh, I love Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, of course. Okay. You okay. know, what I really like, and I'm an old guy. I love Katy Perry. Oh, oh yeah, she's nice too. Yeah. And, and Taylor Swift. Those are those are my girls. And I'm like 73 years old. Would you believe I like this kind of music? Yeah. What do you guys think about Megan Trainer? Hmm? What was that? Do you like Megan Trainer? Oh yeah, she's nice too. I like her a lot. You know, Les, I'm thinking here. Go ahead, buddy. iHeart has a studio. Yeah. Yes, we could hold like, like, hundred the people there. Studio and Maybe we could work, work a deal, and Danny can come down and represent the girls, and we can have a little mini something on the yeah. roof or something. Bring some fans. Fine. Oh yeah, that would be great. I think I think the studio could hold somewhere like about fifty people, and it's iHeart, and we could get it on on all the iHeart stations. And get when them on you're the there, FMs. and that's all FMs. over the country. Yeah. Well, uh, when are you ladies heading back? Is that yeah, your vacation? Um, I, we're we're heading back Sunday, but um. No, we'll stay longer. Yeah. No rush back home. Oh, Come on in Monday. Well, if well, we want we'll to prepare to iHeart, let's, let's uh, maybe see if we can do it. Well, we'll, we'll, I'll take we'll, care of that we'll, part. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk to some people, Danny, and we'll let you know. We'll let your rep know. But I want to okay. thank you guys for coming on your great sports. Yeah. Um, right. and, and, and if 
if if they can sing uh, uh, for the rest of their lives, they're going to do really, really well. If they can sing like their brothers fight, they'll be multi That's what I, meant to say, I know. Exactly. That's the goal. Yeah, because oh. I've watched you many times, and you're very impressive. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask, Go. Danny. Danny, uh, when are when? What is your next fight? Are you getting that belt? Um. Well, I'm current right now. I'm, I'm currently the champion, the welterweight champion. So May, Mayweather, um, Mayweather vacated his belt, so they chose me to fight for his belt for my last wow. for the last fight. So I became the welterweight champion my last fight. I so, think um, you were the only one that could beat Mayweather. Wow. I really do. I've seen yeah. you fight. Yeah. Wow. He's been, he's been um saying he wants to fight me and come out of retirement. So. Yeah, but tell him not be. to do it in Vegas. That's right. Yeah. So he um, you know, I'm ready for whatever. I'm ready for the best, and um. Hopefully, I'll be back in the ring in um, July. Oh, I'm looking, looking uh, forward we, to we, that, we, my friend. We definitely want to be definitely there. Definitely looking man. forward to it. Excellent. Thank you for coming on. We're hey. going to play the girls' song. And good luck to the girls. I know yeah. gonna and we'll be in touch. Yeah. Danny, it was my pleasure to uh, talk to you. It really was. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Awesome. Anytime. All okay. right. So, why don't we do this? Why don't we break it's into so the song? Let's break right into the song. And then we'll go to commercial. We'll be right, right back. Okay. sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number two, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars and just find out those ideas just don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carry advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. You're lunching with two boys from Brooklyn who invite you to advertise on the show. Share your good news. Just call 866-224-5422 and get all the information. There are plenty of options and this could be a great chance to get the word out about your business or service. That's 866-224-5422. Now let's get back to those two boys from Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, can I just say goodbye? Bye. Thanks for boxing with me less in the ring here today. And okay. you guys That's were it. great. Danny Bye. Garcia, we loved you. Bye. 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 Now let's take a look at bye bye list. Let's take a look at the weather and traffic. What's going on out there? But first, let's mention our sponsor, Dr. Anthony Fernoso, 561-381-5800. Guaranteed to take care of migraines on the first visit. 
561-381-5800. Rain and more rain and thunderstorms are possible this afternoon, moving from southwest and northeast. Some storms could be strong to severe, with gusty winds, heavy rain, lightning, and small hail. There is also a slight risk for tornadoes, so be careful. Mm. High temperatures today will reach the low to mid 80s under a mix of sun and clouds. Now let's take a look at the traffic. What's going on on I-95? We have an accident on Palm Beach Gardens. I-95 going north in Broward, we have an accident too. I-95 going south in Hallandale Beach Boulevard. I think oh, you're okay. I'm okay. You're I'm okay. okay. <laughs> this weather and traffic update is sponsored by Dr. Anthony Penoso. 561-381-5800. Hey, guys and gals, if you're looking to play some sports tomorrow on Saturday or you're you going to pick up the grill, hot dogs and ice and you have pain, before you go and have a great time, go see Dr. Anthony Pinozo. Anthony, Dr. Pinozo has cured and helped more than eight, almost 8,000 people, Freddie. And he does a show every Sunday on our sister station, 94.3, from uh, 12 to 1. You can always hear Dr. Pinozo. You can ask him any question you want. So if you're like many people, call Dr. Pinozo at 561 381 5800. And Daisy, thank you for the weather. Dr. Pinozo, thank you for everything. And Freddie, thank you. What do you want to do now? You want to just... Uh, you know, it's funny. I'm sweating when, when, when our co-host it, is here. It's, it's, I know. You and her can go round and round. I'd it, like to deck her. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny because Liz is showing me pictures of, of the water in the cars yesterday. Oh. And that's my car. Was that your car? <laughs> that was my car. Oh, but, oh my gosh. They, you were all over the news. I was all Freddy. over the news. This is ridiculous. You know what happened yesterday? I couldn't believe it. I was just... Uh, going through the news that uh, Lester Holt nightly news I think it's called Lester Holt Lester Holt <laughs> Lester Holt <laughs> the Hulk anyways Sassy Kroger to listen in, oh sorry it's okay they stopped the programming because it was so bad out there they stopped every single thing that they were doing you know soap poppers whatever they were doing no. to talk about the weather over and over I mean it's okay I, I know, I, I understand. I mean, if you why. pee in the water, they call, hey, we just they, saw some guy peeing in the water. There's going to be no, waves tonight. They no really, surfing. Yeah. they stop they everything. And I was like, what's going on? It was really bad. I know it was bad, but it, they stopped it every horrible. single thing that was going on. That's right. And every game, whatever was going on at that time, out. Well, tornadoes in South Florida. You know, Dangerous. Uh, yeah. You ever been to one? Uh, yeah. I've been very close to one. You've been next to one? No, my wife got pissed off. You ever see her? That's a tornado. Mm-hmm. I call. I call that guy. For you. I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> hey, did you see what happened? I saw you see a Jew. What? <laughs> did you see what happened with Microsoft yesterday? Anybody no. catch this? I don't look at all that. Microsoft stuff. decided to create a computer that, between the ages of 18 and 25, would learn what people tell it, teach it, and it will respond to questions for free. Well, that's that. That's the thing that Amazon has. Uh, that you're, that you're going to say, uh, "What is the weather today, Daisy?" And no, the, no, and no. It's not that kind of deal. Really? You right. talk to the computer. Okay. And you say, "Hey, I think her name is Taddy Yay or something like yeah. that." And she says, "Hey, how you doing?" How you and doing? Then, and then, and then they ask questions like, "You know, is it going to rain? Is it going to be here? What, what do you, what's what's up for dancing and dinner?" And it answers you because it's learning what human beings are teaching it. That's just oh. a, that's like having an electrical wife. Yes, but you know what happened? What? People started putting in garbage into the computer. Uh-huh. Hitler wasn't real. <laughs> uh, all sorts of garbage. So they had to take it down. It was cursing. And People don't believe that the Holocaust happened. There is so, let me tell you. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. We're not going to go down that road. This okay. is not about that. How this about? This is about that people took <laughs> a great. Pop, I got you. Go they, they, they did a great thing. <laughs> they put this computer up and it got, it got radical. It got crazy. The people taught it to be crazy, so they had to take it off the air. That's you didn't funny. see that? No, no. Hey, I got a great game we can play, Daisy. Since you're the computer lady, we're going to have a game mm-hmm. of who do you think is our worst host? Just a game. You know, yeah, we're not going to play that. Game. It could be me. Why? Because <laughs> it, it's something interesting. You're listening in the car, yeah, aren't you? Know, you? I give him. I give him. I give him an, a, a good bid on Microsoft, and he comes out with this stuff. <laughs> Hey, you know what we forgot to ask What's that, the, the boxer, the champ? Mm-hmm. If the girl's album, how you can purchase it? I think you can go in Amazon. I think yeah, I think it's an Amazon thing. Is it? I check think it I, out. I, I'm going to check it out and tell so you in a little check bit. Check it out but so we can poke that in the there. They're all over the news. I mean, they, YouTube, sorry. Yeah, then I saw the videos. You know what we could do? We, we could start uh, Connecticut. If we want to do our opening for a couple of days uh, with the girl's song, can we do that? 
Yeah. We could we could do it for the close. This is yeah. the closing. For the close thing. I you think can, it'd be nice let our audience know. Uh, the song from today? Yeah. You want that today? That'll be the closing. Yeah. Okay. You know, we have the worst closing in the history oh, of radio. We're working yeah. on it. We're working on we it. We have a horrible closing. I told know. you that what I was I going to do. What were How? you going to No, you didn't tell me what you, what were you going to do. What were you going to do? I was Daisy? going to. Well, we have like a joke at the end. And then we said, before we go, let me tell you something about news, but something odd. I want to tell you something. Odd news. Don't take this personally. No. No. I, I, no, that's a, don't, you don't like my shirt? No, no, yeah, I love your shirt, but I've seen girls that it just says B. Ah, you got the whole name I have, spelled yes. down to back in I mean, she, wait, look, if you <laughs> ever met this lady, she is Aww. absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank absolutely you. Absolutely the sweetest person you'd ever want to meet. And someone that, God, if I would have met her, well, when I was your <laughs> age, you weren't born yet, so they say that's, that's against the war, right, Freddie? To date an I'm going to let you hang with this to, to one. To date an unborn I'm fetus. I'm not saying two words. You're going to just hang out there like a dead fish. Look, I, I played golf yesterday, and uh, to my dismay, I broke the record at, at the, the golf course. The worst golfer in the course. The I worst the, one? I have the highest score of anyone. He had, that means the worst score. In yeah. golf, high means bad. Yeah. In other words, my bowling score was my golf score. My golf score was my bowling score. He cost, the to- he cost the team the tournament, Aaron. Yes, I did. That's because I got him upset. Well, yeah, you got me upset, and then I, I miss it. My, my best shot is that 100-yard away shot. Pops it right on the green. You got me so upset, I hit it the other way. And they go like this. <laughs> you know, when you're playing that kind of golf, you know, you're playing four guys. The one guy who's the best driver, which is not me, starts, and we pick the best ball. Uh-huh. And then the next guy who has, whose expertise might be getting that second shot, my expertise is the shot set, uh, Anywhere from 100 to the... Hey, Les, I'm always Les, on the green. Who cares? Absolutely nobody. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Who cares? I don't even like golf. And I live in a country club and I don't like it. I don't like it either. You, you, go, you play like you don't like I, it. I, no, I, I like it. Is you play? A, I play a little bit. I'm learning. I know you play I, softball. I, I, yeah. No, no, that's my daughter. Your daughter, but my I daughter. seen you with a bat. Yes. You had a bat in your hand. Yeah. Oh, this is too easy. No, that was... Yeah, <laughs> what that were was, you doing that with that bat else. in your hand? This is too easy. She had a bat in her hand. Have you seen me with a golf club? No. I'd love to see you with a bat in your hand. Why, no, what do you do with a golf club? No, I have a picture. I'll, I'll show it to you. You have a I picture? Say, I have a picture of me playing golf. So let's go to both care. Let's go to both care. You, with me, my and hobby. Freddie. With my husband. And your husband, yes. Yeah. And your husband, absolutely. You can and ride the kids. with me. You can bring the kids. You okay. can ride with me. Bring the kids, too. That's a great idea. I have the answer for your question. I didn't know, know what the question was. Ah, How the, do you get the Danny CD? Garcia, he has a website. Official. DSGofficial.com. Mm-hmm. And you can find everything related to him. And also the, the girls there. There's a video. There's a store. Everything. And they have the cutest shirts that oh, say so DG. Give, no, the, uh, Danny Garcia. Give D- it again. Give the website. DSGofficial.com. DSGofficial.com. You can yeah. get Danny Garcia's stuff and the twins. You can yeah, pick up the tape. Yeah, pretty cool. Very they nice. have a great voice. And you know, the, beauty, the beauty of women is their voice doesn't change like men do when they're 14. So I, I love that. That's That could be... A, Another see, great, great thing. You know what I see in them? Do you remember the, the famous twins uh, from Full House? Oh, the Olsen twins. I see fashion in them, too. Yes. Did you see them pictures? Yep. Did it's you see adorable. the video for the song that we played today? I think it was done in the Morro in Puerto yes. Rico. I, I'm pretty sure it was. So you have the same area that he did? No, no, we don't live that far apart, but Ponce is on the other side of the island. I was in Puerto Rico twice. I like Puerto Rico. I like the gambling You've only been there, there twice? Huh? You've only been there twice. What kind of Jew are you? Well, I went, I went to New York first, and it was the same oh, thing, so I go. decided to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know there are more there are more Ricans living in, in the United States What are they now? called? Ricans. Re- oh, you call them Ricans. Puerto Ricanos. I'm so, a Rican, too, but you're, Wait one. a second. You, you got more... Hold it. So, here's what I got here. So, does a Dominican person... Have, this, have the Dominican? exact same language as a Puerto Rican? Could no, you? no, no. We have dialects, no. and, well, a Cu- and a Cuban has different dialects. Well, I have an. Really? Own. I, 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 I don't agree in a way. You don't? I. I don't agree because if we speak good Spanish, mm-hmm. we will understand each other. It's like yes. the same people. Proper if you go Spanish. to England, you if you speak good English, I mean Queen's proper English. English, you will be able to understand the person. The same thing. If you go to Dominican and Puerto Rican, if they speak good Spanish, I mean, the one that you learn at school, right. not the slang, you will be able to communicate. That's what I'm trying to say. That's right. But there's some stuff that if you don't know Ooh. the culture, like for Cubans, Mexico, you wouldn't know what they're talking about. Like, for example, they call an old woman, they call old woman uh, if, you, if it's 15 years old. 
Una vieja. They, don't, they, don't, they call it vieja. Una vieja. Yeah. No matter that's a, what. That's a slang. And she's 18. What, and what's it called? Vieja. Like old woman. But what was the word used? Vieja. vieja. Hey, vieja. They call old woman. Hey, old woman. And if I, they tell me or somebody from Puerto Rico, they're like, what are you saying? I'm not an old person. Yeah. But they call, in Mexico, they call each other the women like that. No, that's my vieja. That's my woman. That's my woman. Oh, Isn't that crazy? It's slang. I just, call, I just call women bitches. I mean, it's, it's There you go. There. That's something Can't else. Say that. <laughs> I call my father viejo. Because he's an older man. No, because exactly. he's, he's, my, he's my dad. Exactly. Uh, but if you call how somebody is your dad, on the by streets, the way? He's, he's, you know, he's, a, he's 85, never, she's, 80, she's you know, 86, and she's 85. <laughs> but you know what's <laughs> funny about Freddie? Freddie is a Puerto Rican. I mean, a Puerto Rican. Puerto Puerto Rican. Puerto. Yes. And he talks like the great New Yorker. Yes. So I, love went, went, I love it. I love it. Two boys got <laughs> coming over to my house today. We're going to have a little well, I, I grew up in I grew up in uh, Italian neighborhood. See, I don't have an accent. I love it. You because you accent? would never know. You would yeah. never know if you just. You don't know because you're so Latino. But no, you would never know until you get to know you. But uh, if you're on the streets just talking, right? That's what I mean. Yeah. I used to go to Italian um, seminars and in the afternoon the Puerto Rican seminars. Well, you speak you speak Italian also. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Here's, let me show you what he do. Say, where's the money? That, where's the money? In Italian that you should say to the people when you put your stuff in. I like to hear that. Yeah. I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> when someone, make when you, you did make a you deal, deal, you can't refuse. And someone asks you for money, and they were telling, what'd you say? Bada bing, bada boom? No, I can't, <laughs> I can't say it. What are you Gio, talking I'm about? I'm sorry, Gio. I'm, I'm trying to keep right. us on the air. I don't, I don't know what you're talking You want to talk to Sassy now? She's yeah, sitting there. Yeah, with yeah, her. Sassy. Come on, Sassy, sassy baby. baby. Hey, listen, wait a minute. We're going to keep Sassy music? Oh, you some, have some, some music, some music related to I lost my virginity when I went to Trinity. I saw the girl there next door. It didn't Bob Hope sing that song. Yes. On the road to Trinity. The girl oh that Dustin Hoffman song from that old movie Mrs. So, Robinson? Yeah. Yes, that song. Hi Sassy baby. Hey Liz, how you doing? I'm doing so good. I look forward to Friday every time yes. you're on. I got rid of our one of our hosts because uh, she wouldn't understand you. <laughs> no. I understand yeah. you, baby. Go ahead. What do you got for me today? All right. Well, good afternoon, class. And <laughs> hola, doble. De, de doble. De oh. doble. Yes. Hola. How hola. are you? Hola. Como, como estamos, hola. Sassy? Hola. She said. She's just speaking <laughs> Spanish. Um, and you know who's sitting right next to me? The wonderful and beautiful. Daisy. Daisy. Double D. Daisy Double D. Margarita. Daisy. Yes. I'm going to come and call you Daisy, yes, because oh. I'm being a teacher. No, no, her fan club got on our case. No. Oh. Her fan point. club said that we only know her as Double D, Daisy Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy Goodbye. Dominican. I love it. I love it. Well, welcome, class. It's time for Set Fed 102. We're going to discuss the issues of love, Set Fed relationships. Ooh, now, I, I want to like make sure that we teach you how to treat us. We're not provocative, we're informative, we're a bit of suggestive, you know, and the information that I provide for you, you got to make sure that you check with your doctor, your physician, and please check with your therapist, okay? So now the word of today, yes, the word of today is going to be technology. You know what that is? No. Mm, for the technology is sex and technology together. And oh, like we're, Yeah, so we're... Merging sex and technology together, and today's technology is changing, and sex is changing. So, so Daisy, would you like to give a 3D scan of your genital, or have sex with a robot, or what? touch your <laughs> intercourse <laughs> with intimate wearables? Would you I like just, to do something like that? I just like spit out my coffee. Thank okay. you, Sassy. Careful with Les. He's having a heart attack right now. <laughs> okay, Daisy, I'm sitting next to you. Go ahead, Daisy. Sassy, ask you a question. Come on. Well, you guys, you, you might want to start thinking about these things because high tech, it is transforming into our sex life from virtual reality porn to Bluetooth control pleasure devices. I kind of like that part. I'll tell you something. My, my wife, my, not my wife, my first girlfriend from broke, broke a tooth while we have sex. She broke it out of the vibrator. <laughs> How was she doing like, with they didn't get that sassy. Freddie's type, he didn't get that one. But you got that. Gotcha. <laughs> I got it, yes. I love this one. I want to let you know, however, technology, you know, the way that it's, it's growing, we can use it to promote a healthier sexual habit, you know? And apps that are out there, like sex positive apps that were developed by the University of Oregon, it teaches us safe sex practice through a fun, non judgmental interface. And then they have an app called Happy Playtime, yes, in the 
it gives us um, a tool where we can learn how to masturbate. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I, uh, let me yes. just tell you one thing. I could be I could be uh, in three pages. I'm married to a Jewish woman, so masturbation to me is one of the best things in the world. I love it. I'm with someone I really care about. <laughs> well, I think it's part you. of it's human nature. You. you know what doctors tell yes. you? Urologists tell you you should masturbate at least twice a week. Twice? Yes, twice a week. Twice a week. Yes. I, I do it five times. Well, well in case I miss a week. Yeah. It's, so very, well, it's very healthy for knows you. Whether or not all of these innovations that are in our bedroom will change how we interact with each other and giving up that human sexual, you know, inner count, in a, in that sexual interracial, you know, mm-hmm. feelings with each other, touching each other. It might cause some dysfunction, but that's the way we're going, you guys. Sex and technology. So sex technology is the word of today. Wow. Yes. Well, a lot of people are doing also having sex through the internet they're talking to each other they're motivating each other when they're far away from home the husband calls the wife they look each other through skype through facebook through whatever they can find and they start sexting so it's part of what it is right now i'm, getting, I, I'm getting very aroused <laughs> looking at you when you're talking about sex <laughs> freddie wake up yeah, Freddie. No we're doing a show guys let me give you a I'm piece here. of other information and you also can find this information on my website uh-huh. it's Tyson. ED102TV.com Say that, uh, uh, Sassy, say that, say that again so people can go to your website, please. Sex-ED102TV.com Make sure you put the hyphen in there because you might find something else you don't want to find. <laughs> but it, it, like Freddie's picture. Mind, like you can learn a little bit. But I wanted to uh, put some light on the fact that you were talking about sexing and uh Skyping and things like that. Nowadays, you have a device. He mm-hmm. can be in London and you can be in the United States and he can turn you on mm-hmm. by just inserting a piece of device. What? And it'll stimulate you while he's pushing the buttons over there. Nah. You're getting stimulated. I, I did that. not know this. <laughs> oh my God, I want two of those. One for the house and one for the gym. Okay, so how, people how, are how away. Do you, how do you get this device? How do you buy it? On the internet. <laughs> On the internet, yes. I it's, saw a, it on HBO. Um, it's a new company out of London called Fondair, yep. and they actually sell this device. Wow. And it is it's becoming a big thing, and it helps a lot of couples who travel a lot. You uh-huh. know, the husband is away, and he uses this device, and they get on the phone with each other, or they Skype. Wow. That's very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So if my wife is in the bedroom and I'm in the bathroom, I can use this device her night so we don't have to bother each other? Wow. To bother each other. Not... <laughs> but at the same I have t- a good one for you. Because we're turning to robot robotics for sex, hey, now we don't have to hear nothing from the female or nothing from the man. You guys, we can just change the battery, turn them off. Oh, and if man. it's broken, we can turn, you know, spin it back. That's broke. Oh, let me tell you, that's a great thing. Before I have sex with my wife, I give her two aspirins. I don't want to tell me she has a headache, Freddie. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to touch you. All I'm doing now is I'm looking at you. are really a beautiful lady. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. No, you are. Did you look at me? Uh, how, how do I look? You're handsome. Thank you. Uh, you're not looking at Frey by mistake, are you? No, that's not me. <laughs> hey, listen, Saxy, we got somebody here that used that apparatus. Our own board really? operated Connecticut. Yeah. No, I, I don't own any of that. Yes, stuff. I yeah, do. Yeah, you do. Uh, Talk to Saxy. Uh, I heard you bought it. You have a drawer. I did not buy yeah, Are you one of those that have a drawer? I got to She tried that day and she got electrocuted. Do you know why? Because I'm afraid that if I die, they're going to find it. You can actually wear your pleasure devices as jewelry now. So when you're traveling overseas and you don't have to be embarrassed by when the, you know, the security guard opens your bag and he sees your pleasure device, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, that's you great. Yeah. So, so Les can wear it on the air. I was going to wear as a necklace. Please do not do that. No, because your head will blow. No, I'd have like... <laughs> I was going to wear a small one around the necklace. And when you ask me what it is, I'll come over, Daisy, and show you. Uh, okay, no. Manuel, I'm what sorry. I- Please don't come over and hit me. I, that's our husband. I have a question. I have a question. Are people are replacing all this new technology for the real thing? Because that will be sad. sad there sad. ain't nothing but the real thing. Well, even they're saying that it could cause sexual dysfunction, but we're already there. We're just... Dis- disconnected and that's why we mm. should check with our therapist. This these are called dysfunction. Mm. That's why on my show 
we make sure we bring in certified therapists, licensed practicing uh, counselors to come in and tell us how to interact with each other, bring back that stimulation to our relationship. Mm. Whether or not you want to bring technology in the bedroom with each other, that's fine too. Mm-hmm. But still bring that human touch. I mean, it's so necessary. Yes, and it it's almost like vitamin A, B, and C. You actually, you really need it to be... To be that's vitamin F. Happy. <laughs> exactly. Hey, do you know? Do you know that Saxy is a somebody? I know she's a somebody. No, no, she's a somebody. A somebody. She, she plays all over the country. Did I you know? would believe that. I'm looking at her right now, and she's absolutely Saxie, gorgeous. Saxie, she's smart. What? Your show is all over the country. T- tell us some of the places. But before, I, are you single? Am I single? Yes. Yes, I'm single. Yes, I am. Do you like married men that are old? I like married men. That are married. Oh, okay, <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, honey. She wants to marry men and stay married. Yeah. Uh, so I've been married for 45 years. You're a hero. See how that isn't happy helping you are. You're doing something right for me to teach me. I yes. have all those devices, sweetie. Yes. Well, you can find us all over the country. We're in Arizona. We're in the conservative state of Texas. Whoa. Ooh, they like us out there. The and we're also in uh, North Carolina and South Carolina wow. and all over the state. Wow. Wow. You also yes. do television, not only radio, correct? Yes, we are on CW69. We're airing this fall. And 69. we're also on Comcast 29 here in Georgia. And you can check us out on our website. Make sure you visit us at www. Well, I have a question related to, are you there? Yes, of course. When, I mean, we talked about masturbation, we talked about technology. Uh, Masturbation? Masturbation. Oh, masturbation. I thought masturbation (laughs) when you sweat a lot. Stop (laughs) it. Stop it. What did she say? Stop it. (laughs) Satsi, we have a situation also with the teenagers, the younger generation. Do you have any advice, I mean, regarding when is good because some people may think that it's maybe good, baby. too much too much technology <laughs> could be damaging for that man because we're talking about the men of the future and the women of the women of the future that are intoxicated with all this technology these kids are mm. already having sex through technology and they're watching videos i mean it's part of who they are that's the the future men yes. and that's the future woman that the mm-hmm. woman that's going to have children and all that how can, do you have any advice regarding the technology and the well, teenagers? I do, and I have mixed feelings about that situation, okay, because I, pract- I, I preach and I practice, make sure you practice safe sex, and with the rise of STIs, I, I kind of welcome them to have sex with, with technology and not each other, um, and explore their sexuality that way as, as a point, you know, of dealing with the STIs, the risk of catching HIV, um, but if they have to experience sexual relationships with each other, I suggest that they wrap it up, make sure that they protect themselves at all times. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to stop our children from having sex. It's, it's, it's going to happen. And every time we say, no, don't do it, it's, they're going to do it, okay? The, the thing is, is to keep them informed mm-hmm. of how to make them be responsible young men and women and how to protect themselves at all times. I, I agree with that whole whole. I still protect myself. I got a, I got a question, Saxy, that was, um, that was sent in on my phone, and they wanted your opinion on this subject. If you have a, a guy or a girl, because it's not only guys yes. anymore, who is watching or having a conversation about sex on the internet, Mm-hmm. Is that considered cheating on your significant other? Ooh, that's a good question. I think it yes, is. it is considered cheating because and as soon as you break the contract, and I, I speak about this all the time, communication, active living, li- active listening, as well as the contractual agreement with you and your relationship, the partners that you have, you create a relationship contract, whether it's verbal or whether it's written, which I suggest. At some point in your, your lifespan with that, that person, sit down and write it down, make it plain. You need to make sure that they understand exactly what you require of that relationship. As soon as you start sharing intimate relationships with other people, mentally or physically, you are cheating. So now, could you? So, wait, could you so have, if you hump, the, when you start humping the screen, you know you're. you're doing oh yeah, that. you can't so, do that. Uh, do you do you think there's anything wrong? All my friends say it's wrong, but my wife says it's okay to have a a, a woman as a best friend. 
I, I have a woman that's a really good friend of mine. There's never any sex. And we, it's, it's more like a business relationship. No, not this yeah. one. A real person. And maybe Dave. Is, is it okay to have a woman as a, as a, as his best friend? It's healthy. Okay. You should have that because then you're getting, you know, you're getting different views from each other. It's yeah. when you start sharing intimate um, relationships with that person. And that means intimate speaking. If you are sharing your feelings with them, something that you can't share with your, your wife or your significant other, then you have a problem. You, you, if that's something you can't talk to your wife about, mm-hmm. yes. you don't need to be talking to your best friend about it either. Exactly. No, I, I no. You're right. I, we just talk about, you know... A bit. But you don't have a best friend. you I, got an imaginary friend. No, Sassy, I have a lot of friends that are women. They love me, Sassy. I'm just a nice guy. What you see is not what you get, Sassy. I'm not only That's adorable... True. What you see is not what you get. <laughs> but I... But I, I, I Daisy, am, yes, I, am I yes. looking... You're, no, you're always, always nice to you. Yeah. Always falls you're back lovable. Daisy, always you can tell that you're just a teddy bear. Yeah. I guess. Oh, teddy bear. I like that. Yeah, I, like I am a teddy bear. All right, listen, we got four minutes. Sassy, why don't you give out your information also to check out your show? Oh, please. You can check for your listings in your area on our website. Make sure you visit www.sex-ed102tv talk show, well, tv.com, and press on the button for TV, and you can get all the listings in your area. If you want to check us out on the radio, push the mic, and it's going to take you to all the stations that we are presented on on radio. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. And we have you on our station, so we're very proud to have you with us. Thank you very much. I am so happy to be a part of your, your so show. Are we. Oh, yes. So are Friday. we. We cannot wait for Fridays. I wait. No, we really can't wait for Friday because you're enjoyable, you're funny, and you and you're smart, and you know and some great information. Oh, and she's she's a bright lady, and you're sharing information that might help uh, uh, you know Him. younger children understand what's going on. You, you've increased uh, less of sexual awareness. Oh, are you kidding? I, I, don't, I, I only get some kind. I know where those. Uh, his thoughts I'm going to get so that you machine. You guys are stimulating me over here. Remember, I'm a sexual sexual, so yeah. everything you say to me. Out of verbal, I'm getting turned on, so watch yourself now. Let me tell you, after you said that, I can't stand up to say goodbye. Holy smokes, my coffee just got hot. Oh, right. God, I love it. We got to go. Because, wait, <laughs> she's a perfect woman. She's beautiful and she's smart. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. All right. It's the best kind of woman. Yes. I'm not that great in bed, so I want to have someone to talk to. All right, Sassy, yes, thank you. We'll see you next later. week. Don't let me know. I have to thank wind you. up. Y'all have a great weekend. You too, Happy sweetie. Always, always, always happy and a pleasure. Today. Well, let me yeah. tell you something. I look forward to Friday with her. I, I just adore this lady. She is so bright. I wish I would have known her when I was single. Yeah. You know what I like about her? That when no matter no matter what question, she has the answer. She has a way to find it. She has a way to answer right mm-hmm. away, and she's not alarmed about anything. No. Well, next week when we have around, we're gonna like flip it. the script on her. We're gonna take her to school. Okay, good. We're gonna make. Oh yeah. It. Yeah, we're gonna. Sw- well, I know a thing or two you know about a sex. Things, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I know a little something, something. Hey, Freddie. Let me tell you something, baby. I'll tell you what I did when I was single. Oh, God. And I didn't, ma- I didn't masturbate until I got married. I know. You did it all backwards. Uh, yeah, isn't that amazing? That's what my wife says. <laughs> and I, hey, wait. That was fast. But wait a second. That was very fast. Oh, he's fast. good. He's good. That but was guess good, Freddie. I like that. <laughs> I can't Can I use that? I'm going to use it. That you can was have really it. Good. I, I give away all my stuff. But Freddie stop playing with his phone. He could be very funny. Actually, I'm not playing with my phone. I was actually getting these questions. There's a lot of things going on in this corner, ladies and gentlemen. How much time do we have to say goodbye? A minute. A minute. Okay. What are you going to do on the weekend? Do you guys Uh, have anything to do? Easter. I have 400 people coming to my house. I'm going to take my wife out to dinner, maybe go for rack or lamb somewhere, have a couple glasses of wine and just relax. What are you going to do? I'm moving. I'm moving. Again? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm moving for real. Oh, for real this time? Yeah, this time. You're you're moving out of the box? Yeah. Okay. Well, Hey, well, Connecticut, no, what are you Eastern doing? In Connecticut, what are you doing? Probably gonna die. Oh, oh well, do me a favor. Would you let us know so we can replace you? Okay. <laughs> Connecticut, we're, Connecticut. We're, we're gonna replace a lot of people. Connecticut, don't, don't die. Do you want to come over to my house Sunday? Maybe. Right. Okay, I see in 30 seconds, Freddie. You, you, do, you do our closing? Goodbye. No, we don't have a closing. Oh, our closing okay. stinks. Here's our closing. Goodbye. We'll see you Monday. See you Monday. Enjoy Easter. Enjoy Easter. Eat a lot. Eat a lot. Eat a lot. Eat a lot. Eat a Find the eggs. And don't drink it. Don't okay, drink it. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you Monday. Well, that's about it for today's lunch break with two boys from Brooklyn. 
You're invited to join the break every day, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. So if you missed some of the good stuff they served up today, there's more coming next time. Bring your lunch and the boys from Brooklyn will bring the smiles. And it's all live. See you next time. Now go and enjoy the rest of your day.